Hey everyone, it's McKenna from m and Equestrians. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY on one of the things that I'm very excited to share with you because it's a horse organization binder. One of the things that will be like one of the biggest tools for me this year because last year I went to County Fair show which was like the first ever show I'd been to. And then I went to a one-day show, and both times I was not very organized. I'll tell you that right now. I forgot stuff at home. We went and had to buy, like, a lot of things at the local stores. My dad had to run home and grab more things for me. It was just not a good plan for me. Um, And the open show was just... It was a disaster, I'll just say that right now, but it was definitely a learning experience for me, so I definitely want to share that with you guys so that your first show or your hundredth show is more organized than mine are. Um, today I just have my organization horse binder, I called it my horse binder basically. Um, it has quotes, Coggins and health certificates, contact information for my farrier, my Cairo, my den- like the equine dentist that we use, um, just like people like that that are definitely going to be around my horses and I'm going to keep them up to date and then I also have information for if I wasn't here, this binder will stay out in my tack box so that if I wasn't here and one of my friends or my mom or someone like that was watching my horses, they would be able to flip right to this and know you call this vet, and then you call this vet, and then you call this vet in this order so that they're not calling a vet that we don't use or we don't like to use or just really don't know our horses very well. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you what's the first thing. This is what have oh, whoa. This is when you open it up, it just has, yeah, the first thing is... We have, um, for State Fair this year, my FFA instructor went and printed this off so that I can have it to work on for next year because next year will be my, well, 2016 will be my first year showing at State Fair. So I'm very excited. Um, it has the schedule, like when they can arrive, check in, um, meetings, shows, when they can leave, just stuff like that. Um, it has some rules specifically for, um, like the state fair, not, it's just like different compared to county fair, like my county fair, we don't have to pay for anything, I think, other than like a registration as an FFA chapter for a chapter or whatever like that. Um, this one, you like, your entry fee is $10 per horse plus $4 per class. And I think you can only do, like, a certain amount, like, for classes. Just stuff like that specific to um, the Iowa State Fair. So that's something new. And that just goes in this little, <clears throat> just the little front folder pocket thing, I guess you would call it. And then the next thing is my quotes. And my quotes, no hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. Horses first, the rest later. Um, take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go. Just things like that that I can take a copy of and put them in my tack box so that when I open my tack box, that's the first thing that I see. So that'll be something just inspirational that I can have. Um, and the next thing would be like my Coggins and my health certificate. I currently don't have Coggins or health certificates with my horses. Contact information, my vets, my farrier. Cairo dentist just stuff like that I don't have that um all right now I'm papers we don't have my mayor's papers currently we lost them um we have my geldings papers but I'm just waiting to put my mayor and my geldings in at the same time current pictures we just got like four or five inches of rain in the past week so my pasture's kind of muddy um, we have pa- we have pictures from like September October time and they look decent, but I want like current like month or within the last month or two pictures in here so that if 
they go missing for some reason, they are in here and we can show the police and everyone involved in it. Show schedule, my, oh, my show schedule. We will have our show schedule, um, I have one uh, club, they have released theirs already. I'm waiting on, I think, two or three other clubs to release those before I put them all in. Next thing I have is my calendar. I got these printed off. Um, January, uh, it's all color coded. The red is for school, so my jazz band, my archery, my shotgun, um, concerts, just stuff like that. That's all in red so that I know if I'm looking for when something's due or when um, practices, I can just look straight in for the red. Um, at the bottom is the first thing that's not school related. It's a clinic that Michaela, my, um, her mom, and I will all be attending up in Marion, I believe, and we will be vlogging that, so that'll be a lot of fun. She is taking her horse, Allie, I believe, and she'll be just doing all the clinic information, or like all the clinic, I think they're doing like showmanship, horsemanship, um, just stuff like that. So I'll vlog that for you guys so you can see just a little bit. Uh, February is just a bunch of archery practice and competitions. A show workout log. My horses, as I told you guys, my mare is a halter mare at this point. So I'll have to fill that out. But it has um, the date, uh, Jester, and then Belle. So I can fill that out on the days that I work them. Um, just so I have everything in there. Um, checklist. I have, I printed off like four pages for the workout schedule. This is what my checklist looks like. I just made it on pages. Um, and just added a table. And you can't tell, but there's a line right here that I can use just to check it off with. Um, makeup, show jeans, bling, my blingy belt that I use for showing. Um, show slacks, show shirt, chaps, boots. Hat cleaner, leather cleaner, uh, saddle, warm-up bridle, bridle, leather reins, cane reins. Um, it's double-sided, so it'll just depend on whether I go to a one-day show, county fair, uh, state fair, seven-day run, just stuff like that. It'll just kind of depend on what I feel like taking and what I feel is needed at the show. And then I also have showmanship patterns. I have a lot of showmanship patterns. Horsemanship. This has a bunch of different patterns that I actually took from Michaela and printed those off to have in my book. And then at the end, I just have my my numbers. My mom and I's numbers, actually, because um, at the one day show, I was able to have my mom show Jester, so that was a little fun experience for her. Hey guys, um, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, do not be afraid to ask. I'm going to have everything that I used, um, like that you guys need to make this. I'll have them all in the down bar below, along with my Snapchat, Instagram. And our email is now in our about uh, part of our YouTube channel. So if you guys have any questions, you can comment or you can email us. So thank you guys very much and ride on.